Hi, this is question 7 from the AQA call for January 2013 exam paper. Um, for the first part of this video, I'd like you to um, read through the question and see if there's any of it that you can do, first of all. Um, so if you'd like to pause the video and, and try any parts of it that you can. Okay, for the um, next part, um, I'm going to give you a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. So, we've got a biologist um, who's investigating the growth of a population of species of um, rodent. Um, and uh, the biologist has proposed this model over here. And, um, and N is telling us how many rodents there are. And T is the population... Um, sorry, it, T is the number of weeks um, after the start of the investigation. <coughs> and we want to use this model to, to answer um, these questions here. So the first part um, of, of question A is find the size of the population at the start of the investigation. So at the start, um, T is obviously going to be equal to zero. So we can sub that in and, and we should be able to work that out. Part two um, wants us to find the size of the population 24 weeks after the start of the investigation. So again, we could sub in 24 um, and we should be okay with working that one out. Um, part 3 um, asks us to find the number of weeks uh, that it will take the population to reach 400. So this time we're saying that the number of rodents is going to be 400. So we can sub that in and um, we can um, hopefully work out um, what t is, but we want to get t in this form here, where t is equal to r and s and r and s are integers. Okay, so uh, part b, um, for the first part of part b, um, we need to show that the rate of growth, so dm by dt, is given by this here. Now, um, when we um, to, to work out dm by dt, we obviously need to start by differentiating this, so you might want to use the quotient rule or um, the chain rule for this. Um, but what we get is going to be in terms of t. So um, in order to get it in this form here, um, we would need to use um, what n is equal to in terms of t and substitute parts of that in. Okay, so for example, um, I may be able to spot the um, 1 plus 9e e to the minus t over 8 is going to be equal to 500 over n. So if I get an expression like that, um, when I've differentiated, I can replace it with um, a 500 over n, uh, etc. Okay, um, part 2. Um, the maximum rate of growth occurs after t weeks. We want to find the value of t. So this is telling us the um, rate of growth here. So we want the maximum rate of growth. So we want to know when the rate of growth um, is going to be at, at its maximum. So we need to um, differentiate this um, again. Um, but this time it's going to be in terms of n. Um, and then we want that to be equal to zero to find the maximum. Um, and then um, you should be able to go on and work out what the value of t is from there. Okay, so um, those are my hints. If you'd like, now like to pause the video and, and have a go uh, and see if you can answer any more of this question. Okay, for the next part of the video, I'm going to go over the full answer um, to the question. So I'm just going to create some more room for myself um, over here. Right, okay, so um, we'll start off um, and we're going to have a look at question A, the first part of question A. Okay, so um, we want to find the size of the population at the start of the investigation. So at this point, t is going to be um, equal to zero. Um, so if t is going to be equal to zero, um, I've got n is equal to 500 over 1 plus 9e e to the zero. Um, and so that's just going to be 1, so that's going to be 10. So we've got 500 over 10 which is going to be equal to 50. 
Okay, part two. Okay, so we want to find the size of the population 24 weeks after the start of the investigation. Um, and we're asked to give our answer to the nearest whole number. So, um, again, we'll start with n is equal to 500 over 1 plus 9 e to the n. If t was 24, um, this is going to be negative 3. Um, and that's going to be equal to, well, um, <coughs> I'm going to, um, well, I can put this into my calculator. Um, so if I work that out on my calculator, and I make that 345.28 or um, 345 to the nearest whole number. So after 24 weeks, there will be 345 rodents. Okay, um, part three. Okay, we want to find the number of weeks that it will take the population to reap 400. So I'm going to put 400 into here. Um, so I'm going to have 400 is equal to 500 over 1 plus 9e e to the minus t over 8. Okay, and um, if I multiply um, both sides by this, I've got 400 plus um, 3600 e to the is equal to 500. And um, so that's going to tell me that. Um, 3600 e to the 100 and um, e to the minus t over 8 is going to be equal to 136 and I've just divided um, both sides by 3600 and um, because I've got e to the negative t over 8 is equal to 136 that means e to the t over 8 must be equal to 36 um, so if I now ln both sides, I've got t over 8 is equal to ln 36, which means t is equal to 8 ln 36. Um, and so um, we've got it in this form here, r is going to be 8 and s is going to be 36. Okay, uh, I'm just going to tidy this up and then we'll move on to part b. Okay, for part B, we want to show that the rate of growth is equal to this over here. So I'm going to start with this expression, um, and I'm just going to rewrite it um, in a form. Okay, um, so n is equal to 500. Um, one plus oops, one plus nine e to the negative t over eight to the negative one. Right. So I'm now going to um, use the chain rule um, to differentiate this. So I'm going to work out what dn by dt is. So um, if I differentiate the outer function, um, I'm going to get minus 1 so that's going to be minus 500 times 1 plus 9e e to the t over 8 um, to the negative 2 and I need to times that by the differential of the inner function so if I differentiate the inner function I'm going to get um, so that will be minus 9 eighths um, e to the minus t over 8. Okay, right, so um, now the thing to do here now is because I want it in this form here, um, I'm just going to write down separately that um, from here I know that um, 1 plus 9e e to the minus t over 8 is going to be equal to 500 over n 
and I'll also know that 9e to the minus 2 over 8 is going to be equal to um, 500 over n take away 1. Okay, so um, I've got this term here that I can replace with 500 over n, and I've got this term here um, which I can replace with minus 1 8 of this here. So we'll just tidy it up a little bit. Um, first of all, so I'm just going to take this eighth over here. So we've got dn by dt is equal to m minus 500. I won't simplify it just yet, so we'll have, sorry, that'll be, that'll be 500 eighths. Okay, and I'm just taking um, the negative 1 eighth from here and bringing it over here. Um, times by 1 plus 9 e to the minus 2 over 8 power of minus 2 times that by an over here I'm going to be left with 9e to the minus 2 over 8 ok um, and now if that simplifies to um, so that's that 250 125 over 2 and this is here is going to be um, I could replace it with this here, so that's going to be 500 over n. And to the power of negative 2, and this bit here can re be replaced with 500 over n. Take away 1. Okay, right, and um, now this here is going to be the same as um n over 500 so i'm going to write that as 125 over 2 times and this is going to be n squared over 500 squared and over here we're going to have 500 take away and i'm just going to write this as a single fraction over N. So tidying all of this up, um, I'm going to have, so we've got 125, it's, uh, it's the n squared over 4000. And over here we're going to have um, 500 take away n over n and that's going to be equal to well the n squared and the n um, one of those is going to cancel with this so I'm going to be left with n over 4000 take sorry times by Five hundred take away n, um, and this is the form that we want it in over here. Okay, so um, I, I probably shouldn't have. Um, if I wouldn't have simplified it over here, it may have been easier to to simplify this. So, but um, hopefully we can see what happened there. Right, um, I'm just going to tidy this up, and then we'll try the second part of this question. Okay, so for part of this question. Um, we first of all um, want to rewrite this um, I'm going to rewrite this as um, 4,000th of um, 500 and take away n squared. Yes, yeah, so this is just this um, rewritten. Now um, what I need to do is I need to um, find the maximum rate of growth um, so I need to um, now differentiate this with respect to n Oops. Um, and um, and then once I've done that I want to, to find the maximum rate I want that to be equal to zero um, so if I differentiate it with respect to n um, that's going to make this um, 1 
4000 uh, so it's going to be 500 take away 2n and I want that to be equal to 0 so that means that um, 500 take away 2n would have to be equal to 0 so 2n equals 500 which means n is equal to 250 ok so um, I know that when the maximum rate of growth occurs n would have to be equal to 250 so I can now put this into this top equation over here um, and that tells me that 250 is equal to 500 over 1 plus 9e to the t over 8 and um, so that means that this must be equal to 2 so so that means 9e to the minus t over 8 is equal to um, 1 so e to the t over 8 uh, well e to the minus t over 8 would be 1 ninth so e to the t over 8 would be 9 um, so t over 8 must be equal to ln 9 which means t is equal to 8 ln 9 um, and um, there you go so that's going to be the value of t I'm just going to write it down as a as a decimal as well um, so if I put that into my calculator I've got um, 17 17.6 uh, weeks So there you go, um, I hope you found that useful um, and I look forward to seeing you again soon, take care.